Hey guys, what's up? Sarah here, and today I have a quick riff lesson for you, sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. The class I'm currently taking is called Easy Productivity Tips for Artists by Brooke Glazer. I needed this class like years ago. This is so important, especially if you're a freelancer, if you're an artist, if you're a musician. I really think this class is awesome and it will give you some tips and tools to help you stay on top of your work and achieve your goals. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. If you're uncertain about what's next, creative challenges and productivity courses can be a great way to structure your time and set achievable goals. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, let's get back to the riff. So yeah, that riff is just kind of short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I'm using a fret wrap just so that you can hear stuff more cleanly. The tone that I'm using, I generally use in solos, not for riffs, um, but we're rolling with it. In case you guys didn't know, I am using a pick in this video. This is a Bog Street pick. They just sent me a pack to check out, and honestly, I really like them, and that's saying something considering I don't usually use picks ever, um, and I'm not much of a pick person, so there's a bug in here. Bees in my house all last week. Bees. <laughs> Anyways, so back to the lesson. You're going to be starting out on the 12 of the A string and the 14 of the D string with your pinky. Yes, pinky. Then you're going to slide up from 10 to 12 and hit that 14 on the G string. So all together that goes like... And I usually like to palm mute those first two notes, so it's like... But you can't really hear it with this tone anyways, so... Again, that's 12, 14, 10, 12, 14. And then you're gonna move down to the 10 on the A and it's gonna be 10, 14, 10, 12, 12. Together we have. And then you're gonna move up again and you're gonna be starting on the 10 of the B string, sliding up to 13. And that's 15, 13, 15, 12. So all together we have. And then you're gonna go 14, 12, 14, but you're gonna hit that octave, so. And that's on 17 of the B. And that's 10, 9 with your first finger, 13, 12 with your ring finger. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that lick. I think it's really great if you are feeling kind of like sluggish in your playing. Um, it's not too difficult and you can speed it up or slow it down and it uses all your fingers, even your pinky. So it's a good warm up. Thanks so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and to my Patreon people per usual. You guys are the best and I'll see you around.